and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147. And this is just a video on diamond painting tools, extras you can get, um, all that sort of jazz, should we say. So, your regular diamond painting that you order, whether it be from AliExpress, Amazon, eBay, tends to come with your canvas, which will have the picture printed on it and will be sticky. It tends to also come with your drills or your diamonds, whatever you want to call them, um, to make that picture. And it also tends to come with a basic type toolkit. Now, it may or may not come similar to this. So you will end up with some sort of tray. Um, I don't think I've had one that hasn't included a tray. So it will come with some sort of tray, whether it be a little white one, a little green one, um, some of them come with an extra little round one, some of them come with, yeah, they just come with all different colours, but it will come with a tray for your diamonds to sit in, okay? Perfectly feasible working tray. Um, it will also come with a pen, uh, it may or may not have a grip on it, uh, it may or may not have places, uh, multi-places in three, six or nine, may or may not come with them, but you will get a pen. Okay, you will also get some wax. Uh, you may get a couple of pieces, you may get a very small square. It varies, um, but you will get plenty of wax for your project. Um, as many of us that have been diamond painting for a while uh, will know. Yeah, the wax just keeps on going. Um, so yeah, you'll get some wax. And then you may or may not get tweezers. Um, some diamond paintings come with tweezers, some are like this, some are just a very basic um, silver type tweezers, these are the nice ones, um, but they come with, some of them come with tweezers, some of them come with stickers, um, so the ever moments come with these little long stickers, um, and then some of them come with little baggies, um, little grip seal bags. That's what you tend to get, you can do a diamond painting with just that. I, my first couple were done with just what came, okay? So this video is more on some extras um, that I have and whether I think they're a need or a want. So again, it's my opinion um, on whether you need or want these things. Uh, well, it's your opinion on whether you need or want them. It's my opinion that I'm giving, to put it that way. Um, so here's a few of the things here. There's one thing that's not here because it's too big, so we'll do this one first, um, and then I can go through what's on the desk. So this is a need or a want. Um, this is possibly a want. So this is a A1 West Folio portfolio. It's like an art folio. Um, I use this to store the diamond paintings that I've not yet done um, to keep them flat, okay? So in regards to that, um, there are many ways of storing diamond paintings if you are lucky enough to have some form of, you know, waiting to do inventory. Um, they can be stored in those folios, which is what I personally like. It slides behind a bookcase. It's great. Um, there are many people that will roll them up and keep them in a tube. Many people will keep them exactly as the way they've come packaged, rolled up. Um, you can hang them from the likes of trouser hangers and put them in your wardrobe to hang. You can put them onto your bed. You could even just use a move-in box, a, you know, two pieces of cardboard, some box you've got something delivered in, make them flat and store them in there. So that is a want, in my opinion, rather than a need. You don't need it to store your extra diamond paintings. It doesn't make things loads better, um, but I personally prefer it. So that's the first one, the big one. Um, then for all these things on the desk, and really, they're not huge amounts. Um, so, for example, we've got tumble dryer sheets. Now, occasionally, you will have um, some drills that come, they're a little bit staticky. They're jumping around in the plastic bags. 
and to pop in i mean these i just found in home bargains but to pop in a little piece of dryer sheet can help with that static so for me if you have static drills this is a need um, if you don't then it's purely a want to sit there but when i found i had a set of a pack of static drills which was you know quite a few diamond paintings in um, I found these became invaluable for helping control that but if you don't have static drills you definitely don't need them so that's one second is labels so these are 80p from Hobbycraft for 175 labels I use these all the time but again you do not need them um, they're very helpful um, in a way for me they're a need um, but that's because I use them to label up um, my storage I use them to label up the spare drills when I finish the painting I use these for every painting that I do so that's why I'm classing these as a need um, however you can use sharpies um, you can use dymo labels if you've already got them you know any type of label that you may have lying around you can use or as I say you can just write on a lot of plastic things with a sharpie so it's up to you to decide if they're a want or a need for you but for me they're a need um, in regards to storage so I have a couple of types of storage here now you don't this is storage, sorry, for diamond paintings that you're working on. Let's pile them up there. <laughs> um, so this is for diamond paintings that you may be working on. I have a couple of different types of storage. I have the Dries Elizabeth Ward Crafter's Companion. Depends on where you live to what they're called. But I have this storage that comes with individual pots. The one I have is different sizes. Um, they open up... Um, you know and you can pop your diamonds in this to me is a want um, rather than a need I do occasionally use this and I do have a boxing up of a diamond painting where I did use this however I find it perfectly I, I work just as well in some instances better with my other type of storage which is cheaper so these I think I paid about £22 classed as an Amazon um, warehouse offer uh, because the outer packaging was damaged which doesn't bother me because it's the inner packaging that I'm bothered about um, so yeah that is one of the types of storage that you can have for your current projects some people even use them for their spare diamonds um, I find that a bit too much of a want um, to purchase myself and that's partly because of the price of them here in the UK but that is a want item um, but it is a very good storage system especially if you work on a table if you have the space to have it out you can get all of your diamonds for a project in one of these trays which can be good so that's one of the storage options for a painting in progress this is the one that I tend to use more often. There's a couple of reasons for that. One is it fits in my little basket where my current diamond painting things go. Second, if I get a diamond painting that comes in the little baggies, I don't want to open them all up because if I've got any spare, I want them to stay in their baggies. So I use these. Um, I've picked them up for two or three pounds per set off aliexpress i did also find um some that were on amazon now they still came from china uh, but the ones on amazon that i saw got you four sets of these for five pounds which i found was an absolute bargain um, you get 28 containers they're in little groups of four but they all open individually um, my little label stickers fit on the top of these to tell me what the dmc numbers are in fact i'll show you so this is um what i have still from my ever moment and um, that i've just completed i've not sorted them into my spare drill storage um, i use this for my ever moment and if a tub ran out then i filled it up from my spare bags 
I just filled it up from the spare bags and then moved on. Um, and the reason I didn't tip them all into this big one is because these are all the diamonds I've got left. So a lot of them are all still bagged up, which I prefer when I then put them into my spare storage. But again, that's personal preference. So for me, um, this or some form of storage for your diamonds is more of a need than a want. You can just use the bags that they come in, but I find that this is much more organised. I much prefer this when I'm working on a diamond painting. I've got all my colours in front of me. I'm not hunting through bags, etc. So to me, this is a need. How many of them is up to you. <laughs> um, I think, you, you know, diamond paintings, because these are 28, they vary between you needing one or two. But if you can find, I mean, and I'll try and link it below, um, the price fluctuates between £5 and £10 for the set of four that I got for Fiverr. Um, I think they were currently £7.50 last time I checked. If you can get those and don't mind waiting for them to arrive from China, um, they're a bargain and four will give you plenty. So that's my opinion on those. They're the only two that I use for a current project. Um, there are many other options out there. Sorry, I'm having a slurp of my brain. Many other options out there. Um, find the one that suits you. Um, I've People have used medicine cups. They've used little dip pots from the pound shop or whatever. But these are just, they're not that expensive. Um, and they're nice and compact and they work really well. So that's my opinion on those. Then we have the likes of baggies. So I picked up a, a thousand of these bags, which are, let me have a look for the size for, for you lot. So they are like three and a half by two and a quarter. It's the full bag size. Three and a half by two and a quarter. I picked up a thousand of these off eBay and I think they were under a fiver. Um, again, I will try and link them below um, if you want them. But I picked up a thousand. I've still got loads of bags left. I use these for my spare drills. So if you're not keeping your spare drills, you don't need bags. Um, but I use these for my spare drills that I then put into my spare drill storage. I do have a full video on it and you'll get a brief glimpse of it. Glimpse of it. Um, for me... Because I keep my spare drill storage, um, I do really, really like these. You can use the bags that the drills either come in or the spare bags that they give you, um, but I like the fact that these are all uniform. So it's probably more of a want than a need, um, but I do use these for every diamond painting. So maybe it's more of a need for me. Um, but yeah, that's those. Then uh, I'll go on to my actual toolkit that sort of sits with me in a moment. Uh, these are bags. These didn't cost me anything. Um, I had scrapbooking kits arrive in these. Um, I use these for upcoming projects. So, for example, here's my inventory sheet for a flamingo. Here's all my diamonds for said flamingo. I've not started this one yet. So that's how I store those. Um, it's more of a want, um, more often than not, the diamonds, well, for example, I've not used it for this one. So this is a rhinestone tiger. They all came in individual bags in a clear bag. They could stay in the clear bags just as much as they could go in these. Um, I like them purely for the fact that I stock, I just stash my spare diamonds in um, a, a basket, a, an 89p basket from Home Bargains. Um, and that's where I store all my spares for diamond paintings that I've not yet done. I like it because they sit nice. But I'd say that's more of a, a want than a need. Um, stationery shops do stock these. They're A5 in size um, if you do want any. So I just like them because they're robust and they keep everything together and they sit in my basket nice. But having said that, this one is that compact. I didn't bother putting it in the bag first. So that's one of my extras. Now, this one, this is the big one. So, light pad. 
okay so this is the one where you plug it in I've um, they, some of them do tend to be a bit cheaper in quality I think I only paid about a tenner for this um, and you do find after taking the cable in and out um, it can start coming apart a little bit um, I've taped it up to stop that connector port disconnecting because um, if that disconnects then your iPad doesn't work so um, I decided to tape this up to sort of help it stay together and help it stay in place you can get ones that come with a wire fitted in they are better quality but they're a bit more expensive um, I ordered this on Amazon Prime um, I've done two or three diamond paintings one of them being a huge one and I was sort of like oh do I don't I and I got a diamond painting out where the symbols were a, a little bit harder to read without it uh, ordered it on Amazon Prime as going to bed it arrived as I was waking up which was really good um, I find this a need now I have used a light pad I find it so hard to do a diamond painting without one it backlights the the canvas from underneath it can change the colors slightly which in a way is good because when you turn it off it's like this reveal um, but these are an absolute godsend if you are going to continue diamond painting I would make this and this this and storage some of your first investments and I say investments you could get four of the, well I paid for four of these and one of these £15. You're not talking huge money, but if you are going to do it for long term, these two will make your diamond painting much more enjoyable. Okay, so that's the light pad. Um, in relation to this beautiful box, I do have a video on it. This is my extra diamond storage. If you don't keep your extra diamonds, you don't need this. Um, this cost me, well, for one box, £2.50, but I bought two, so I only paid £2 for one of them. Um, the card I already had. The labels are those 80p ones from Hobbycraft. The foam board cost me a couple of pounds um, for a sheet that I could then cut down. I've got some left over. Uh, and the baggies, again, a few pounds from eBay, which I then put my spare drills into. Um, this is probably more of a want. You could quite easily just throw your spare drills um, in whatever they came in or, you know, in, in the little bags that they send you and shove it in a carrier bag in the cupboard. And if you should ever need spare drills, you just go hunting for it. It's not that often that you run out of drills. Um, but for me, I, I like the organisation of this. I love, love this. Um, but yeah, that's one of my extras. You will find a system that works for you. And I talk more about spare drill storage systems uh, in my other video. You could just use envelopes. Throw them in envelopes according to, according to the spare colours that you've got. Um, so yeah, that's probably more of a want than a need again with the drill tray so you do tend to get a smaller drill tray in your kits this is the big one um, I found this on AliExpress for £1.41 pence for two uh, the current price of them is £1.44 for two um, I find these a lot nicer especially if you're working on a diamond painting with big blocks of colour um, you can tip more diamonds into it, you know, you can tip one of the big bags that tends to hold a thousand and the ridges are a little bit higher so the diamonds tend to settle down into their places a little bit nicer. Uh, again, that's probably a want, not a need. Um, you know, the little ones do work, but for £1.41, treat yourself. So that's my big one and then this is my diamond painting like little toolkit. Now I picked this little box up while I was in Australia in one of the little dollar or two dollar shops. Um, it's really handy actually um, to, to keep all of these together. Um, I do use one of these baskets which again is a want not a need. Uh, it was 89p in home bargains 
this is where I tend to keep my current diamond painting project so I can pull it out of the cupboard along with the canvas and diamond paint. So I tend to have my toolkit in there, I tend to have my big tray in there, I'll then have a couple of storage boxes, I may have some spare sheets, um, these are off old diamond paintings, I will may have a couple of those tucked in in case I peel back a section and maybe need to cover a bit up so I can lean. Um, so I tend to have those in it. If I do have any spare diamonds, like this Ever Moment, for example, I've had them lined up in there. So when I first started it, I had a, a few bags lined up and these just sat on the top. And then, is there anything else I tend to have in there? Oh, the inventory sheet. That's what I was thinking of. So for that particular Ever Moment, uh, had an inventory sheet. The canvas was quite big. I think it was 60 by 80. Um, so I didn't tend to look at the key on the canvas. So I'll have my inventory sheet. That is how I tend to work on my current diamond painting. So for me, this toolbox, to go back to what I was talking about, let me move that out of the way. Uh, this toolbox just transfers from one to another. This doesn't really change. Um, in here are a couple of extra bits. So this is a little pot. It did come free with a diamond painting, so I've not paid for this. One of my diamond paintings came with this small sort of tray and this tray. Um, I personally use this for my drills that are not quite perfect. So this tends to be my little trash tray. Many people will use this. You can use, um, if you've got your diamond painting lined up and you've got some spare tubs. In the past, I've used one of these for, for my trash. Some people like to use little jars and actually save it, you know, so they've, they've got it all together and it just looks pretty. Whatever works for you. Um, but this, you know, you don't need to go out and buy this at all just find some sort of little pot for trash is handy whether you use a spare one of your storage whether you use a baggie whether you sit right next to a bin you know you might just want to throw it in whatever works for you uh, then I have my pen which comes as a standard in the standard toolkit you can get fancy ones of these you can get some very very pretty diamond painting pens I've not got to that stage yet. This one just works for me. <laughs> if I see one that I really fall in love with the colours, then I might treat myself, but it's definitely not a need. Uh, you need the one in the kit, but you don't need any fancy ones. That would definitely be a want. So that's the pen. I also have in here a set of the nice tweezers. So these are the Ever Moment tweezers. Um, these aren't quite as pointy as the last set I got. I like these. Um, I only tend to use these if I'm pulling up um, a drill that I've put down and not realised it's not quite perfect. Um, I also actually use the end when I'm framing a painting to peel up that little, that little sort of metal bit that holds the frame in place. Yeah, I use it for those as well. Um, but again, these, you know, don't go out and buy some just get a pen. If you want some of these nice black ones, you can buy them on AliExpress or you can just order a painting from Ever Moment. You'll definitely get some uh, from Huacan and you might get some. But yeah, a set of tweezers, they're in there. They're not used that often, but they're handy if I put the wrong drill down. I have a pair of scissors. These are Ikea scissors, uh, come in a pack of three for however much. These are one of the smaller pairs. Pinch a pair from wherever around the house. Um, but these are good for either cutting your washi tape, which I'll come up with in a minute, and or opening the bags. Sorry, I chatted for that long. Um, the camera does an auto save on the video. Um, so sorry, back to scissors. These are from Ikea. Um, just use whatever you've got around the house. You can buy yourself some fancy ones if you want, but that would definitely be a want. Um, I use these for cutting the washi tape and cutting the diamond bags open just because I think then I'm not going to rip it and spill it but you can rip them so that's those um, these actually came with my light pad 
Um, these are bulldog type clips. I use these if I'm working on a bigger painting. I have a little fold up table. Don't have a dining table to work on. Plus you can't really watch the TV if you do that. Um, I have a little fold up table that was £4 from B&M. Um, but occasionally if I've got a bigger painting, I actually put like a... It's actually the inside of a jigsaw board. <laughs> it's one of the sheets that came in that. I put that on top to make it a bit bigger. You could use a piece of wood, a piece of card, whatever. Um, I use this just to hold bigger diamond paintings onto that so that they don't fall off with the weight of the diamonds or the weight of the canvas. Um, this could become a need if you're forever working on big diamond paintings on a small space um but they came with my light pad so i didn't even really buy these i didn't even really know i needed them until i ended up with a big diamond painting um then we have washi tape washi tape is very handy um I have loads of rolls from scrapbooking anyway, so I've not bought any in particular. But I do have a roll that sits in my toolkit, and, and that is for going round the edge of a canvas. Um, this was a different washi tape, but to show you. Um, on a canvas, when you peel back the sticky layer, you may have a, oh, that's probably not the best side to check. <laughs> Let's try this side. Uh, you will have it. You may have a section where the glue still is. Um, and this one, I didn't put washi on it straight away, as you can tell, because it picks up little bits of lint, normally from your clothes. Sometimes from, you know, if you've got pets, it'll pick up pet hair. Um, the washi tape is handy just to cover that up. Just stops it being sticky and in the way, and leaves you the sticky area that you need to work on. Um, washi tape is it a need probably not um, you can scrape the glue off so you can trim it down with a craft knife and scrape it off um, you can put baby talc on it though you'd have to make sure you didn't get your actual diamond painting but you can put baby powder on it and that will stop it um, but washi tape, washi tape can be handy if you've got something similar even use scotch tape, salad tape Something like that um, is handy to sort of put round the edge of your diamond painting. You can always find something to work. You could even line it with strips of printer paper if you needed to. So you don't need to buy this, um, but it's a very handy, quick thing to grab. And then the last little thing in my toolkit is just a little pot. Um, you can probably get these for makeup. I used to have little beads in it for scrapbooking. Um, you know, empty out a lip gloss container. I find this handy because I put my wax in it. So this is one of the small things of wax and I'm still going. Uh, but I find this is quite handy. I can just push my little wax in and then seal it up. That would definitely be a want, not a need. Um, you could just have your little plate of wax flowing around in the bomber there so yeah that is the tools that i have there are many that you can buy people have bought um like brayer tools for flattening down a diamonds once you've finished i use a rolling pin out the kitchen um it's probably the main thing it's used for unless the kids are baking um yeah there are many many other tools out there feel free to comment below and let me know if there's any tools that you found that you can't live without um if there's anything that is what you consider a need um let me know so i can check them out uh but that is the sort of tools that i have um the most i've spent is probably on this elizabeth ward which is a want not a need uh, the most I've spent on a need is probably the light pad. Um, that is a worthy investment. So my opinion, if you've just started diamond painting and... Sorry, I'm going to have another slurp of my broom. Um, if you've just started diamond painting and want to purchase yourself some extras, go for these first. Find some sort of storage system for your diamonds, for your painting you're working on and treat yourself to a light pad. Have a slurp in me, bro. Um, 
those two you will get lots of enjoyment out of after that a lot of it becomes want not need um in my opinion but hey it's a hobby who says we need any of it um i do <laughs> but that's because i am loving this hobby um so yeah that's my sort of extra tools things you can get as i say there are many more um I just find I like to spend my money on the actual diamond painting canvases. Um, I love spending my money on the storage when I find something that works for me or when I find I've got that many spare drills that I need something to put them in. Um, but that depends on where you are in your diamond painting journey. Uh, any questions, please ask them below. Um, if you want to see more videos, um, I do a mixture of diamond painting and scrapbooking, however diamond painting is quite heavy on my video list at the moment because I'm loving it. Um, then just hit the subscribe, you can hit the bell to get notifications or not. Um, ask any questions below and I will get back to you. Sometimes it takes me a bit depending on what's going on with life, but I do get back to everybody that comments. Uh, unless it's nasty and then I might if it's a nasty comment then then I either don't reply or I just delete it because uh, life isn't about that um, but yeah any questions queries leave them below and I'll get back to you thank you so much for watching and um, I hope you found this video useful and I will speak to you all again very soon